what is up everyone back at it again with another a briar jungle video and i'm going to show you and teach you everything you need to know on how to play briar jungle and climb so for starters briar jungle we're going to be doing the standard you know press attack page with eclipse sundered sky or cleaver i've been having a lot of success with this build there is some flexibility in it but overall it's really good for matchups we have malphite versus mundo briar darius ari fizz jinx milo versus smolder and nico so what's important to always understand about matchups is recognizing what's important in matchup and what is not important. So top matchup is unimportant because tank versus tank, not that relevant. Ari versus Fizz is an important matchup because Fizz really needs to all in to kill the Ari. It's melee versus range. And the Milo Jinx is a very safe farming lane versus a Nico Smolder, which is a very safe farming lane. So from there, I'm like, it doesn't mean I have to pad towards certain lanes. It just means I understand how the lanes are and which lanes are more volatile and which ones are very important. For clear, Solo Raptors is just like my go-to. I feel like Briar isn't a jungler that wants to do anything to level four because of how she is. If she's able to just get that first clear off, it's extremely good for her, and I think it's very important. In this game, that's our goal. So here we always drag it. Around 100 damage, you can let your bleed sort of tick to kill the rest, but it's up to you. I like to do Krug second, so here we always jump over and then go gonna smite in this situation to get the gromp lower or the krug there i actually missed my e that's something if you wait too long can actually occur if you don't want to wait for the auto it's not a big deal you just have to you know like try not to do that and that's something you can easily avoid by waiting for the auto attack before you press your w or just pressing it whenever you feel like it just to make sure you don't miss it but your w is an auto attack reset so i like to wait until my champion attacks once and then i use my w which is the same way you use the initial w so here the activation is going to do around 260 so you want to w in that situation so darius jungle is going for a mid gank so here might be a situation where we could maybe gank now i know darius is ghosting this could also be a situation where we can even invade usually i don't like to invade on briar but when i see then me darius use ghost and sort of all in and he has sweeper we can maybe play around that so what here what i'm gonna do is sneak in here check the raptors first raptors are up so he's here he's on this so we're gonna 100 go for the kill so here we just walk in see what's going on red is down okay let's check krugs krugs is down so he might have actually just based then so we might be able to just take the red if possible here so here you want to make sure you're wing it and then queuing I generally don't like taking, you know, the buffs, for example, but in this situation, let's just say it's acceptable because I was actually looking for a kill and he didn't look like he went for the kill. So he could potentially have been in his bot side as well. And now Darius is bot side. Wow, this guy is a mystery, man. I don't know if I can keep up with that. Did he start my top side then? He did. Interesting decisions. So here we have a few options of how we're going to play the map. This Fizz is all linear, which is good for us. So here we're going to do the press attack combo. Just keep chasing with our W damage. And yeah, just good play overall. Even though Darius did all that kind of shenanigans and stuff, it's not a big deal, personally. I'm not really getting that much hurt from it. You know, jungle is sort of this position about random occurrences right like random things happen when you jungle that's just part of the role you have to understand that here i just want to finish the crab because zarius sort of did a gank that he has to base off that so i'm able to kind of get the crab in that return so overall you're probably like in what who's who's more ahead off this situation well technically it's me right i i have gotten more value off of it because even though he got the first kill i was able to kind of get the secondary kill and in in turn, I'm able to farm more and get better camps. Here, I actually do want to play for Void Grabs, so we do want to base. I might have, should have been basing earlier. Void Grabs are going to be really broken, especially next patch. Here, I actually like going for the boots with a pickaxe and a boots buy. I think it's a very powerful buy that I favor a lot. And the reason why Darius does lose out in this situation is because Darius did not clear this side. This is level one camps. So for him to clear it again, it's going to be lower level. What did I end up doing? I ended up clearing my jungle he actually cleared this for me so i'm getting free level four camps right you click on it well level four so i'm favored in this situation here we ping darius is danger danger i don't care if he sold his dragon void grubs are worth more early game if you can get the void grubs you always prefer to be on the void grubs 
You only do the dragon if you're like impossible for you to fight for the void grubs. So here what I think might happen is Darius might be like, oh, I actually want to fight for void grubs. So he could technically run all the way here. So I have to think about that. So I might save my W for a second. See if he's actually here yet. But if he's not, then we can just all in to finish this one. But void drops are getting buff next patch, so it's going to be very important to play for them. And Briar is actually very good at playing for them. And besides that, I'm happy. I got Void Grubs. I don't really care if Darius is on Dragon or whatever. Whatever he's doing, it's fine. Go on W this wall. I'm just trying to get farm at this point. I, I'm just making sure that I'm getting one, at least one side of the objectives. And then I'm just farming. And now, as long as my lanes look relatively safe, I'm okay. Like, both sides seem to be doing fine. There isn't really a lane that, oops, usually want to hold on to push that. They're usually, you know, you just have to be ready for like these volatile lanes. So this, I think, Biz wants all in. So what we do here, we actually bait it by, you know, waiting here. And we need Biz to kind of go in. And, you know, like, it's just read read the champion, right? Read what the champion wants to do. Mid matchups, you can always gank like that as well. Here, I think Darius might be on the dragon. So we want to ward and see if he's on it. If he's not on it, that's actually quite nice. I would like to do crab, but I don't know if I can do it if Darius is here. So we're going to peek and see if he's here. If he's not here, then we might just start it. But now he's here, so we're going to have to fight him. Here, I'm going to do a short trade and I'm going to push him away. I actually think I might have been able to win that if I was able to hit that wall stun. Darius is quite low, though. I think he might die afterwards. If he tries something weird. I think Ari can just R in here or even Charm. So this Darius will die. His clueness, clue, cluelessness is his downfall. And I should be able to capitalize on it. I'm going to try to finish this dragon. Flash out. Ooh, I actually messed that up a bit. How I messed that up? Because I actually queued Ari instead of queuing the Fizz. That's not ideal. Let's just let's just say that was an unnatural blunder. There, I should have just queued the Fizz. I needed to queue the Fizz so I can actually burst them. And then I should have full charged my E. But overall, Darius dies. We get the dragon. We're happy. We're happy. We're happy. And we're just going to go farm now. It's actually been a while since we farmed. Even though, you know, when I play jungle, I, it's kind of meta. It's actually surprisingly a lot about objectives. And it's it's just jungle individual impact is about, you know, objectives and having your lane strong enough to just be sure we're getting the objectives. So as long as you kind of have that ready and you're playing around that, you're just going to be winning a lot more games. Especially the Void Grubs. Even though you don't see the impact of the Void Grubs, the Void Grubs actually bring a lot of value that you may consider more invisible value. So here, now I'm feeling pretty good. Six, I think I can easily fight here. Here I want Ari to charm. If she could. Now she's kind of waiting too long. This is actually funny because I actually think this is good for us now. I think Darius, his his bot side or whatever jungle is up, right? So I might be able to sneak in here and get on him. So here we want to see if he's on red or if he's on whatever camps. Now he should be dead. You snooze, you lose, Darius. You snooze, you lose, buddy old pal. You don't do this to Briar in my own territory. This is where I capitalize and you know I'm, I'm a very aggressive player i know when it's good to be aggressive and i think naturally if you play more aggressive you learn more you know i mean i don't like invading people and trying to play for like stealing camps i like invading people and playing to kill them right i think that's more valuable here we could go for an r so i'm just gonna r i think if we r him we can maybe run him down here very nicely done very good play by me so i'm really happy about that play and, you know, the same thing we talked about. Void Grubs are really important. What do we like to do? We like to do Void Grubs. Void Grubs are crucial. Darius 
has no R. He might actually take a while to kill him. Maybe I think I can kill here. Even though he has passive, I think maybe. I think maybe we can kill here. Ooh, beautifully done. I mean, that's just how I do it. I make the possible impossible. I make the impossible possible. I make possible possible. That's what I do. That's how we do it in the Nori crew. And that's exactly what you need to be doing. Is just understanding the limitations of your champion. But that takes time and that takes understanding. Always that situation I WW'd really quickly because I really needed to just to bite his ass. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying Briar bites booties, but I mean, it looked like she did bite Darius in the booty right there. And here we're just going to make sure we do the crubs, the board grubs. I mean, a good thing about Briar jungle is your sustain is insane. Once you sort of get your W maxed out, the bite damage and healing, well, it's not really fair, right? So you can kind of see how much value you bring in. Here we're gonna get the six void grubs. Even though, I mean, next patch getting four will spawn the baby ones. And four, four void grubs are gonna be really impactful to have. And also the true damage is gonna be lost. So having six will be very much like one shining towers, which is really good. And it's gonna be a lot about these objective fights. And when I play jungle, it's like a lot of it is really about objectives, doing these objectives, making sure you're not inting. And also no, ma making sure you know if you can trade objectives. By trading, I mean like if I know Darius is doing Void Grubs with super good top lane matchup, super good mid lane matchup, I'll probably be on Dragon instead of trying to run to Void Grubs. Stuff like that. So here I do two camps and I reset. I have so much money. I could base early, but I just think it's okay. For me to be a little greedy sometimes, I think it's okay. It's okay to be greedy sometimes. So boots, CDR boots is always fine. Merc Trez, Tabbies are really good. This game, I honestly think Merc Trez, or not Merc Trez, if stun, CC, auto, this guy's magic. Tabbies, we're just going to go CDR boots because it's really weird what we're playing against. And here I like to go Sunder Sky or Cleaver. It's up to you. Generally, Sunder Sky, Sky is really OP. I've been experimenting with builds where I go Cleaver third too. You can go Sunder Sky into Cleaver third or Cleaver th second into Sunder Sky third. And then Sterix fourth with the last item, Death Stance. Honestly, this build has felt so broken. With the amount of cooldown reduction you get with ability hates, it's really, really good. <clears throat> uh, you just, just champion really needs a lot of ability haste. You have to hit a benchmark of like 50. And if you can get to that 50 point, you're very powerful. So there, that's Nico. But I'm actually extremely strong where I want to just fight. So here, I'm going to just go and try to jump on the Nico. I'm going to E them out to reset and then R back to start again. And yeah, that's good. I like to do that a lot where I, tweak, I just go in and short trade and then push them all back and then start again with my R. That's a really good, you know, that's a good way to look at it because you don't like, I don't want to start with R in that situation because if I just do my combo and everything, I'll have my W and Q really like coming back up. And pretty much what I did there is a really good strategy of how to play some sort of like early fights where you're outnumbered. Because like in that situation, I know I'm probably going to need to R if I want to win like a 1v2 or 1v3. So you just do your combo and then E them back and then R right after it. Especially when you E them back into a wall, it pretty much guarantees you can hit your R. Which is, a cool, which is a cool little thing. And there we get the dragon. We get all the kills. I'm not really like crazy about like always stealing enemy camps. It really depends on the situation. I feel like newer players or like lower rank players really don't worry so much about stealing people's camps. Focus on your camps first, if anything. But don't focus on too much farming. Farming is good. But you're really looking for that balance of being able to farm enough. So you're not like really behind and also making sure you can use the time getting objectives like being ready for the void grubs and also having like, you know, being ready for dragons and also just straight up ganking. So here I'm going to get the wave. I was thinking about, you know, you can always W the walls with extra, you know, jump there, but Mundo's still here. We'll fight him, but we'll see. I think he respects my power. Maybe not though. Come on, Mundo, you're winning that, bro. Come back in. Come on, Mundo, you were looking good. It was looking good for you, Mundo, I'm gonna be honest. I think he stays under, <coughs> under tower here, so we're gonna R. And just dive in. 
here with Q, auto, W, E. Buy more damage so my bleed does more damage. You can always do that. Oh, it do doesn't work there. <laughs> Actually, we kind of troll. We're, we're supposed to go into Sunder Sky. Yo, uh oh, uh oh, scoops. Actually, our bleed stopped. This is I'm doing that for you guys. I was actually trying to put on a show for you. I could have killed Mundo if I eat better. I needed the E to hit. <laughs> but he's a very tanky boy. He's a very tanky man. You need generally, I would probably need another W to kill him in that situation. But it does happen where you need that's your limits. Your limitations is what holds you back. You don't know what you can do until you try, right? That's just how life is. How did I, you know, practice makes perfect. Here, I always queue the small one to help stack them up, so I have a better uh, AOE and, like, position. Here, I want to kill the smolder, so what we do is W. This guy's on the run, but we should be able to catch him, but now we see Darius is here. I'm going to W here, E. Kind of reset it. I'm gonna R now. I think they're kind of stacking bad. I'm gonna E in advance. And I did pretty much all I could. Sometimes it's okay to go in and die. If you just have to be the one to get the party going. Sometimes you're the one who needs to get the party going. just how life is if you play with a kda mindset especially on briar you're never gonna go sometimes just doing as much damage as possible is just impactful very strong they just have true damage on darius r which kind of hurts my potential plus they have a lot of magic damage so until you get you know like towards like your your sterics or your cleaver you're not going to be all that super tanky so it's going to take time for that to kind of kick in and when they have when champions have a lot of burst too sometimes you want to favor the sterics Maybe this game, I do want to favor Sterix early because, well, I think I might be getting bursted, right? So I'll probably go Sterix third this game. Maybe with a Cleaver after or like a Death Stance as well. Like I said, I don't really like building MR unless the team is really MR heavy. If I felt like I wanted MR this game, I would go Spear Visage, like last item or something. But truthfully, I don't think you need MR on Briar. I just think you overheal champs that do magic damage. Like... So I think MR is a bit lackluster. Here, I, where Dragon's coming up, we want to stack Dragons, right? We're close to the third Dragon. It's just a shame not to stack it. Here, I also think I could one-shot here, so I'm just going to R. I kind of have a good idea of how to angle it. Probably going to keep chasing here because I have my spells coming back up. W, Q, combo, auto, E. Maybe the same thing with this Nico. I have W coming up. We'll see which way she goes. Goes that way. Very easy for us to kill. Interesting. Right? W damage going off. Sunder Sky healing. Very nicely done. Okay, okay. Darius said they're all dead. I mean, that's just what we do. We make the possible possible. The possible wasn't possible, then the possible wouldn't be impossible. And that's what we need to do. That's the mindset you have to have. That killer instinct. That raw power. And here we're going to do dragon and usually my games go pretty well like this where i'm just like in control i'm really aggressive i look for these r angles you know i always try to like a lot of people say like how do you ain't like how do you hit your r so well it's really about understanding that you know where do people want to run away like if you were to heal hear like alarm going off which way would you go would you run away from your teammates or usually you would run in the path that looks like the easiest for you to get out of and that's just like a simple like human brain interaction thing I want to kill Nico. I want to. I want to kill Nico right now, right now. I want to kill Nico so bad, so bad. I also want to kill Darius, but his team might be here. If I do this, I might lose the game. But life is about taking risks. And that's what we do. W bite Q combo. Nah, this was not even close, bro. 
Who am I playing against? This guy's made out of paper mache, bro. He's made out. Someone check his check his armor. He's made out of paper mache. Literally, literally. It's what I do, baby bro. Here I'm gonna ward over to see. I mean, oh my God, Mundo, you got me. But Mundo, can you do this? <laughs> yeah, right, bro. You can't even jump over a wall. Oh shit, they're all coming. I have to eat now. Oh my God, I, I didn't think about the fizz though. I didn't think about the fizz. If I wanted to stop chasing that situation, I would just use. My E early and just like avoid, you know, that fight. But it's okay. I mean, sometimes, you know, Dragon Souls three minutes. In my mind, I usually think of this as like downtime. Like you have Dragon Soul coming up. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just make sure they don't get Baron. Maybe you can do Baron if it's easy, but don't do anything crazy. I usually play really safe in this situation. We're not really safe, but I play smart. Like I don't know. Like I'm not going to take a weird like 50-50 Baron. Just gonna clear whatever jungle camps, kill whoever's like like alone or isolated. Like when I see better numbers in my situation, I always try to take that. And just more importantly, just make sure they don't do Baron. Here I'm not even going to red, I just want to make sure. You know, the Baron area is clear. I saw Darius leaving, so he's probably not on it, but... You know, I just want to be in that area, and we'll save the red for later. It's okay to like fight around Baron, like I'm not saying you should just have a vegan playstyle. You should have, you know, more of a aggressive place out still but here i think jinx is okay okay nice. i mean this guy's strong Oh, that's a headshot. Wait a minute, it didn't hit. I was trying to look cool. I was trying to look cool for the video. What the hell happened here? Alright, we're gonna kill him the old fashioned way. We're not gonna kill him that way. We're gonna kill him the old fashioned way. W. Red's down. He's actually on this, so I'm gonna kill him. Red Briar! He's actually on here, so I'm gonna kill him here. It's actually right here, so I'm gonna kill him over here. I like going on that because if you it actually gives you the healing, so you can just heal off her. Well, Darius is gone, so I mean I wasn't ever gonna get him anyway, so happens, right? Who cares? Playing for Dragon Soul. One minute and twenty six seconds. Ping it. Let your team know. Let them know what's going on. You want dragon. We all want dragon. Dragon souls. Infernal souls ready for us to be taken. We play around that. Also, what I like about Cleaver is sometimes it gives you a lot more. It gives you a lot of a chase potential <clears throat> that you might not have usually had. Like, it gives you a lot of chasing because of the movement speed bonus you get from it. And the Cleaver stacks, you can stack it really fast. One auto attack, one spell hit on Briar. Pretty much full stacks the Cleaver. So here I always want to let my team know that we're playing for Dragon Soul, so we should be ready to go. And perfect timing, we're always going to have like the spike ready, we have sterics ready, this is going to pretty much guarantee that we live. And here I'm going to W and do the red, because I want everyone on my team to be as strong as possible for this. And us, especially me, I need the red to slow people. And with this build, we're extremely strong. And we're going to play the map as much as possible. We don't really want to start a fight yet, like we can, but we don't need to, right? Enemy team wants to start a fight more than we want to start a fight. You actually think I can hit Smolder if that's a good way to start. Dodge that. I'm gonna E now in advance. W again. And eh, maybe we don't need Dragon Soul when I'm just this good. I built different. <laughs> that's what I like to see. Alright. I mean, if you know this, I, the reason I engage like that, first of all, but I hit the, we hit this plan. So I know there's no vision here because it, it, it will reveal all wards. I got free vision here. I use this as a way to buffer, to hide, to hide the R. And that's very important. And I use that because I know it's going to hit because he has no idea it's coming. And a lot of times it's using these walls to kind of like really approach like your R. Use it as a way to hide it. It hides in the walls. And that's really good, and that's really important, and that really helped us get the fight. And pretty much once I made sure Smolder was dead with my R, I used my E to disengage the fight and CC whoever's trying to 
sort of like play around me and that stuff. And Asterix came in handy, survived the burst because of Asterix. Here we can actually run him down. Oh, poor little dragon. Here I don't think I can die to him, but his teammates might come. That might be a problem. Oh, okay. That that was not a good way to start it. I need to wall stun Darius, but I missed it. My team got Baron in the meantime, so it's all worth it. And yeah, Cleaver is extremely good. DD is extremely good. If they had more AD, I'd probably go DD, but they have more... They actually have more magic damage, so I'm not going to go DD yet. I'll probably still end up going DD like last item, but for now, we're not going Death Stones. 1900 for this, so we're just going to play. I, I like to keep pink wards. I mean, I, I like trinkets too because you can ward off to them. Plus, I just like having my own ability to ward vision and get vision. So, you, if you don't want to keep it pink, I, I just don't think keeping... I wouldn't buy a ruby. I would always have a pink instead of ruby. But I would get a phage, maybe. So, I would I would buy phage if I had enough for phage instead of a pink. But here, we just want to end the game. So, Jinx is an auto attack carry who's very strong. Crit A carries are really good right now. Also, very easy to kind of, like, push with her. I don't know why Milo's facing, bro. We should just be fighting. Oh my god, he had to buy a, uh, buy a ward. But yeah, we want to play around vision. We want to play around getting objectives like towers. Very important. We don't bear on this wave, so this wave will die. Killing the Darius fast is good. If not, I'll just keep burying in the mid wave. Oh, that actually stuns. That's so funny. I'm gonna R in advance here. Oh my god. It is Anderson. Maybe it was Smolder. Maybe it was everyone there. Yeah, when close to tower, it's not ideal. Jinx will not die, but... Jinx will not die, but we'll be a little careful when we're around towers. Elder's three minutes, so oh, maybe we, maybe they're scaling, guys. Ooh, ooh. No, I think we're okay. I just have to hit an R on like a smolder or a fizz. Going on Mundo, any time I'm fighting Mundo is actually not good. He actually hurts too, unless I can fight him with Jinx just one shotting him. But a lot of your defense actually comes from the R itself. So if I hit R, it gives me 60-60 armor and MR, 20% life still, and movement speed. That's a big thing. That's an important thing when you need to remember. And it's also why Cleaver, I really just find Cleaver to be very effective. It's actually because of the... Here I'm gonna R because I think they're really overextended. Damn. I thought that was a bad fight for them. Got my R didn't hit. All right, all right, all right, focus up, focus up, focus up. I don't think we're going to lose at all. But the only way we lose is if Nori starts playing poorly. So Nori has to play better. That's the important thing. I think Fizz is over here. He's down for a back and fast combo, but this fire thing. I'm going to E in advance when CC is about to hit me. Ooh. My R being down there for a bit longer was unfortunate. But I think they're okay. Run! Run! Killing the Fizz is huge. He's a problem champion. Especially because Malphite gets free pressure. Come on, Malphite. You got this. Kill the Darius. With Jinx up, I think they can just win the fight. But we'll see how exactly how it plays out. Yeah, Zarnius kind of counters you because it drops your W. But we have so much ability haste. That's like not a big deal. They should just kill Nico ASAP. Yes. 
She's not really a, she's not even a real champion. Though. I think Jinx shreds Mundo. She just autos. Mundo's a big boy though. Hard seal, huh? With the cleaver, it, it I think people have a wrong idea about how does how does Briar live. Me getting cleaver is actually dramatically gonna increase my survivability. And the reason why, because if I'm able to deal more damage, my passive is gonna heal me much more, and my W is gonna heal me a lot more, right? Because these things are all based off how much healing you do. I'm gonna R here, because I think the fight will be around this area. And I don't care who I hit, I just wanna be in the fight. I should aim farther. But it's okay, I think my team's doing well. Maybe. I think we can push with the wave. Smolt is a bit annoying. Probably take this over and kill. Nice, smolt there. The rat died. The smolder. Get out of here, smolder. You're you're not no one likes you. The boulder of Malphite is ready to go, the booty. Here I think they could maybe end. They just have to auto towers. Darius is not really a human. Go, my teammates. Six void grubs for a reason. Elder, Elder time. You ever see Inori Elder fight? Let's go. Inori YouTuber. It's a tuber. It's a tuber. It's an Elder tuber. Let's get the Elder guys. My R with Elder with Cleaver ready to go. Oh, oh wait, wait, we're not going to get him. Run, Jinx. Speed her, Milo. Why are you ahead of her? You should be literally running behind her. She's just started. And life's silly. Hmm. We just need to wait for me. To group up here. I want to fight happen because I think they're not going to have a good time with us. I want to make sure I can get an R here. On the smolder, we're good to go. I'm going to eat in advance, try to stun them into the wall. Go on the fizz if we can. I wanted the elder. We got to get the elder, bro. We gotta get the elder, guys. One more. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We we can draw this out, guys. We don't... Let's get the elder, guys. Come on. Don't end it yet. Ooh, a Briar does elder extremely fast, too. And also the Cleaver. You see how much value you get. This is why I prefer... If I can, I go like Sunder Sky into Cleaver, then Sterics forward. And then my last item is usually... Like the Death Sounds and stuff like that. Or Smiting early. I think I can get this before they end. I just want to hear the sound effects. Nothing sounds better than the elder sound effects. If you agree, you agree. Q really doesn't do anything to elder, but... Uh... Oh, we got it. Elder, baby. Oh, GG. Hope you guys liked that video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely check out my stream on twitch.tv.inori. I stream pretty often. And yeah, good luck on the games. Good luck on the climb. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh,